Hello dear friends, degenerates, haters, trolls. Before we kick off this season 2, I just want to express my gratitude to all of you who watch my videos, especially you who subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me and I'm trying my best to give you value and good content. In this episode... Uh, it's a little bit confusing. I'm going to Buriram, but it's like 2 o'clock. It's not too spicy. <coughs> I mean, you could have wished for a little bit more sauce. Hey. That's why you always take out a lot of cash. I'm trying to buy a SIM card. We are a little bit lost in translation. I think you can pick on your fingers how many bars they have here. It seems to be a festival, but as far as I know, I think... Back in my mundane existence, I struggled to readjust, caught between two worlds, torn by conflicting desires. And so, once more, I resolved to journey back to the world where I found belonging, where I truly felt alive. my first step on Thai ground and we are in Bangkok again yes uh, time is about 5 a.m. in the morning so I'm really tired flight time was about ten and a half hours and I think I had about one hour of sleep so I'm really tired but anyway we're in Bangkok and uh, we're not gonna stay here so I'm actually gonna change to Dom Mueang Airport. So my plan is to take a domestic flight to Isan. And uh, I need to find a transfer bus because there's supposed to be a transfer bus between the airports. I have never done this before, so this is, this is new to me. But uh, it's gonna be exciting, so we're gonna find out where to find the transfer bus yeah okay so it's gonna be exit three and let's see can it be this bus perhaps shuttle bus let's see svarna boom dom wang yeah okay so Let's see. The shuttle bus is free of charge when you have a ticket already. So I came with a flight to Savarna Boom Airport and I already have a ticket from Dom Wang Airport. So then the shuttle bus is free of charge. Oh yes, okay. Hopefully there will be less traffic because it's really early in the morning so I hope we don't have any traffic jams yet here in Bangkok because the traffic in Bangkok is horrendous usually but it's really early in the morning so yeah look at the cute little AC Oh 
Okay, let's move on. Let's see. Okay, I'm like six hours early. Six hours early. So, yeah. I don't know if I can even check in like six hours before. Maybe I need to wait somewhere. Only this one. Very old to count yourself checking this. I'm going to Buriram. Buriram. But it's like two o'clock. Two p.m. Is it too early? Is it too early to check in? Uh, this you check in terminal two. This terminal one. Ah, oh, terminal. Yeah, the next building you go straight. Ah, oh, okay. Ne so I go like this. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Damn, I'm in the wrong building. She was like, that's terminal two, not terminal one. Okay, so now we are in terminal two. And yeah, let's see where we can find the check-in desks. Okay, so uh, it's a little bit confusing. Not really, I guess I'm just really tired with one hour of sleep. Uh, anyway, here's the check-in desks. And I also found that there's ATM machines over there. And I see the food restaurant level is upstairs. Yeah, baby, now we're talking. We have the cashier over here. And then we have the food court. Hello. Can I have a card with uh, 200? Only cash. Cup on cup. So I've got my card with 200 baht. So now I can just order something, anything I want. You have a uh, pad kapau. Oh, thank you. Where can I find a spoon on the sticker? Oh, over there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so pad kapau in the airport cost 115 baht together with a Pepsi. So I think the dish itself is about 85 baht. It's not too bad. In the streets, it's about 50 baht. We know it's gonna be spicy. No, it's gonna be spicy as hell. Oh, actually it's all right. It's not too spicy. <coughs> okay, now it's really spicy. Ooh. Yeah, I'm starting to sweat. I know something's gonna hurt tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the toilet, my butthole. <sighs> now it's time to try the ATM and see if I can withdraw some money. Uh, I'll be back in a second. Yeah, money first and then the card. And also good to know when you go to an ATM, there is always a fee, I think almost always a fee that's why you always take out a lot of cash at once don't take out like 1000 baht and then two days later you take out 1000 baht because you're gonna have a fee applied every time now i take out 20,000 baht so i have money for a week or i don't know okay so i'm gonna wait with the sim card until i get to buriram and just buy it locally on the street not on the street but in a small shop it's gonna be much cheaper and also as soon as I check in and go through security I need to brush my teeth I really need to brush my teeth is it okay for carry on yeah. you sure <laughs> you don't find me you don't find me in the system yeah but uh, if I 
if I board the flight and they say no, it's too big, what happens? They will. The size is okay. Right? Okay, it's okay. Okay, thank you so much. My backpack is enormous. Where do I go? This way? Yeah, this way. Oh, you want to say hello? Hello. hello. <laughs> yeah, so friendly. So cute and friendly, everyone. I'm not gonna bore you with too much video from the airport. I mean, an airport is not really that interesting. Yes, finally. No airplane so far. We're sitting in this small little gate. So we're flying an Airbus A320-200 and I would say it's pretty much fully booked. Uh, there's a lot of people flying to Buriram and uh, I pre-ordered a meal, so let's see what that will be. Probably chicken with rice. And uh, I've spent more than 24 hours on airplanes and airports, so I'm absolutely knackered, as British people say. And the flight will be about 55 minutes. So it's a pretty short flight. It's nice. Like that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so I pre-ordered uh, chicken with rice. And also the sweet and sour comes in this cute little bag. I mean, you could have wished for a little bit more sauce. I guess this will do. They just say we're gonna go down for landing in 20 minutes. I just got my food. One cool thing about this little town in Isan is that when the plane landed on the runway, at the end of the runway it made a U-turn and had to go back because there's no exits from the from the runway. So it had a land, stop and then you make a U-turn and go back. There's only one exit from the runway. And we have officially landed in Isan for the very first time. My god, it's scorching hot. They even give out umbrellas because it's so hot here. It must be at least 38 degrees, 40 degrees, it's really, really hot. Oh my God, it was a long time ago I felt this heat. Oh my God, I even get tears in my eye because of the heat. Wow, this is the cutest little airport. No baggage for me. I guess I have some people waiting for me. Hello, Savalika. Hello. Hi, Patrick. Tan. Huh? Tan. 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 It's very hot. I'm 
ันสวัสดีค่ะและผู้ที่สามันีจากสที่สองแถวที่ยี่สิบจากสี่และสวที่สามแถวที่หกสิบเก้าโอเค let's see Okay, so I think it's about 45 minute drive from the airport into Buriram town and uh, we're gonna check in in the hotel and we're gonna see if I can find a Thai SIM card. Then we're just gonna explore Buriram, I think. Do they still have the festival? Buriram festival? They have? Mm. No, no more. It's finished. Yesterday was the festival. You show me. Uh, I, I, I oh. Translate. I yeah. <laughs> Lost in translation. Bill Murray. <laughs> Okay, I need to get a SIM card, so she's gonna help me with that. We are a little bit lost in translation, but it's okay, it's okay. I guess we are outside of Buriram. Yeah, we just stopped because she saw a 7-Eleven and uh, she was like, oh, they have SIM card in there, so. Oh, look at this bike. Do you have SIM card? Huh? Germany. Germany, okay, you're German. I'm trying to buy a SIM card. Yes. But we are I, lost in translation here. Yeah. Uh, I, I only want data for 15 days. Yes, you like uh, SIM card? Uh, SIM card with only data, no calls, only Wi Fi. Like yeah. internet. Chai, yeah, yeah, richtig. Some loyal. Uh, 300 per uh, one, one month. Okay, yeah. One month? Yeah. yeah. Internet. Yes. Okay, 300. 300. Yeah. Two. 200. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, good. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. That's okay. That's yeah. Perfect. You live here? Yes. You live here? Yeah, yes. Outside of Burinam. Yeah, I come from Düsseldorf, from Germany. Wow. Okay. Cool. I know. I, uh, you retired here. I'm. I'm. I'm here with my T dog. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anything. Pick one. Me? Yeah, pick one. Because I know her from before. She come and pick me up in the airport. Ah, in the airport. airport. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna stay one night. I have Sweden. Yes. Outside. Very hot. <laughs> wow, it's uh, good that you could help me. Oh, no, no problem. That you are here right now when I buy the SIM card, you know? It's so funny, this guy. He's from Germany. Wow. No, I think the hotel, no pool. They have no pool. It's a cheap hotel. I booked the cheapest I could find. No, not really the cheapest, but I booked the one who was the most central, you know, in town. Like walking distance to the bars and stuff like that. Oh my God. Even the German guy said it's extremely hot. Okay, so here we have the roundabout and the watch tower. So the hotel should be here. Yes, this one. The red one. <laughs> it's summer. Summer. Summertime. Summertime. Summer. Summer. Not winter. I book a room. Patrick. I think I already paid also. Maybe booking. Uh, what? booking. My booking. Two thousand years later. Let's find the room. Ah, like for children. 
<laughs> okay, I have a belly cover. Like I'm a child. That's okay. Okay, I just checked into the hotel and uh, went right outside because we're gonna have something to eat somewhere. Okay, so far it's a bit of a sleepy town, but it's Sunday today. It's Sunday. Sunday is always a bit sleepy. Sunday. Okay, I have to turn. I have to turn off the camera and Google Translate what Sunday means in Thai. Okay, we found one place to eat close to the hotel, but basically most of the places are closed. Water. Okay, so what do Thai people order when they want to eat simple street food? Pad kapal. Khao pad. And this is beef? Khao pad. Khao pad. Khao pad. Pad kapal. It's about 50 baht each. 50 baht per plate. That's amazing. Master chefs in action. <coughs> this is Isan food, right? Yeah. <coughs> Isan food. Yum. 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 Okay, so I'm gonna show you what the room looked like before I go into the shower. Uh, it's a very simple room. It's a very simple hotel in a very simple town. So the price per night for this room in this hotel is about 600 baht, I think. And uh, how much is that? Maybe 17 US dollar or something like that? I don't know. But here's the simple room anyway. You have a very simple bathroom with a shower here. No drapes or nothing. Very colorful bin. Then uh, the TV, I'm not sure if it's working or not. And then the colorful bed. Yeah. And I think if you look outside the window, it's a brick wall. So, not very romantic, but I mean, I'm just gonna stay for one night, so why not do it uh, Scott the regular guy style? Many, many minutes later. I'm out walking, it's about 6.30 p.m. and I'm getting really hungry. Uh, but I'm just out for a walk, you know to see if there's any life in this town or if it's completely sleepy. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'll just uh, have a walk and maybe take a motorbike taxi to a night market or something like that. So, yeah, I'm just gonna check things out, you know. You can just follow me along. This looks like a good place, a restaurant maybe. I'm just gonna walk a little bit. And, uh, but th this looks really cozy. Wow. Um, 
right now I'm really hungry. So taking a motorbike taxi to the night bazaar. Okay, we arrived safely to the bazaar, as she called it. So yeah, let's check it out and see what it is. Okay, so I guess this was the first hall or the first area and there's another one over there. So let's go check it out. This one says retail market. Whatever that means around here. vegetables and nuts and uh, other things. Oh, maybe it's like if you want to buy fresh groceries and stuff like that. You come here to this market and you can buy fruit and vegetables and garlic and anything that you can use. To be honest, I'm not sure if there's anything more to see around here. So I'll just stop the camera and walk around and have a look. Can I have a mango smoothie? What I have? Mango? Mango smoothie. Uh, ah, okay. Mango. 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 Okay. Thirty-five baht. That's like one dollar. It seems to be a festival going on here, a party connected to the beginning of Songkran, and uh, it could be really fun. But the only problem is that. Inside the party area, festival area, the only participants is the security guards and the waiters. There is no guests whatsoever. And the entry fee is 300 baht to enter. So uh, I guess I'm not going in. But as far as I know, I think most of the bars are concentrated here around Victoria Square and Speed One Hall 
uh, yeah, but not much action today. Sunday, maybe it's better on other days, but today is not a good day. So I think I'll just go back to the hotel.